Sam, we've got some championship implications. Right here, we see starting off hot. Both of these ladies play very little games. Jasmine Allure is small but mighty, as we can see with that double drop kick. She's playing no games over the past couple of months. She has been on a war path, no pun intended. Uh, ooh, La Usadora going for a quick pin right there. But Jasmine has been on a war path with her stable war with the Renegade Twins. She's slowly been inching her way closer and closer to the championship. Uh, defeating many opponents to get to this point. But let's give a little bit of background on the Mission Pro Wrestling title right now. Oh, Jasmine Allure going for, was that a Mahistra? I, I, I didn't see if the arm was trapped, um, but could have just been an open home. Either way, going after that pin, the only way to become a champion is to get that pin, get that win. Yes, and La Usadora knows so much about that because back in 2020 at the Tournament of Hell and then later on at MPW Run It Back, she was able to defeat Lacey Ryan to become the Mission Pro Wrestling Champion. And since then, she's valiantly defeated Maddie Renkowski, Micah Madrid, Rachel Rose, uh, Sky Blue, and a bunch of others, including Red Velvet, one of her protégés. So she's on fire. Absolutely. And I mean, nobody becomes a champion uh, because of luck or accidentally, right? Like La Rosa Negra, she's got, uh, right now we're seeing a little bit of power from her. She's got technicality, finesse. She's got uh, years of knowledge and hard work behind her. She is absolutely the champion for a reason. Yes, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but La Rosa has actually been wrestling for 18 years. But right now, Jasmine with the upper hand. I don't know what that was, but it was cool. Goes for the pin. What was that, Willow? That was like a nice little springboardy schoolgirl situation. Yeah. Like, very innovative. Uh, I, not, like, I wouldn't even know what to call that. So innovative. But... Um, La Rosa Negra getting back on the up and up here. Shots to ribs. Yeah, both of these ladies are going to have to give it their all tonight. La Rosa has been a fighting defending champion, but Jasmine Allure has been like a pit bull here at Mission Pro, running through opponents for her opportunity. Right now, she's on the shoulders of La Rosa, but she doesn't want to stay up there. Oh, beautiful Rana to La Rosa. Jasmine displaying a different attitude, a different determination here tonight. Sam, would you consider this a test for Jasmine? Um, yes, she's been on that war path like you've mentioned, but like wrestling the likes of La Rosa Negra, it's, it's not an easy task. She seems to be doing well, but it's certainly a test in my opinion. Oh, I certainly agree. I don't know if Jasmine would feel that way because Jasmine has a very high opinion of herself. She does call herself top tier for a reason, but whether she likes it or not, she's in for the fight of her life against La Rosa Negra. 18 years of experience, trained in Japan under some of the best, and she wants to keep that title. Uh-oh, some spinning action. That's a good way to dizzy your opponent. Oh! Oh, that'll knock the win right out of you. La Rosa getting the two count. Uh, if you couldn't notice, she picks things up and she puts them down. She's a strong lady working just as hard in the ring as she does at the gym. Y'all should follow her on Instagram. She's got some great workouts first off. But let's get back to the action at hand. Right now, the left arm of Jasmine Allure being broken down. La Rosa, a vicious competitor. Have you ever versed La Rosa, Willow? I have not uh, had the opportunity to. Um, and that would be, again, an awesome opportunity. But uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm safer at this moment right now on the commentary booth than being in that ring with her. <laughs> I would tend to agree she's not messing around. But you never know what the future can hold. Who knows who's going to come out victorious tonight? 
could this be the night that La Rosa is dethroned after nearly a year on top of her game here at Mission Pro? And of course we have the wild cards of the match, the Renegade Twins. They're not standing together. They're standing on opposite sides of the ring. And that only puts Jasmine Allure in a more powerful position. I would absolutely agree. Have all your sides covered. And I'm sure because of this confidence boost that the Renegades have from winning the Tag Team Championships, that confidence can really uh, play into just how dangerous they can be ringside. Oh, yes. Some stiff shots to the abdomen of Jasmine Allure, who is uh, perhaps languishing on the bottom rope right now. Oh my gosh! And when La Rosa, oh, goes for the pin. I recently had the pleasure of uh, ring announcing, oh my God, Jasmine Allure goes for, goes for the pin. Oh, these, both of these ladies are going for pins, but it appears that Jasmine's right shoulder was up. Ref Sherry making uh, the right call, the honorable call there. You can just see the intensity on uh, Rosa Negra's face. Every single action she put so much purpose into. And she's got a smile on her face while she does it, but I think that Robin is uh, involving herself a little too much in the match. Jasmine Allure going for the pin, looking to capitalize off the involvement of the Renegade Twins. Robin's got a look on her face of saying, I didn't do anything, girl, we know you did. You're on a camera. Girl, you know what you did. Ooh, elbow to La Usadora, Jasmine Allure, no slouch, going for that pin. She's been featured throughout the year on AEW Dark, getting opportunities there and learning from some of the best. Currently training under Thunder Rosa. What a great start in the wrestling business Jasmine has had. Goes for another pin, staying on La Usadora. There is a clear size disadvantage for Jasmine Allure. So she's got to maintain a close distance to La Rosa to keep La Rosa off of her. Jasmine calling for that back elbow that we've come to know from her. Sliding out the legs of La Rosa. What does she have up her sleeve right now? Oh, come on, Robin. Not, ooh. I, mm, you know, she had some steam behind her, and I was really kind of like, yes, girl, go. Go get it. But I'm really not loving Robin and these renegades putting their fingers in this match. <sighs> well, you know what? Karma, ooh, karma's, ooh, ooh. karma's a witch. Karma's a witch. Very you, you make a very good point. Indeed. Okay, you're right. Very true. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, so the ref is currently oh. distracted by Jasmine Allure. Feigning. Feigning pain. Feigning. Uh, Referee's got to turn around. Oh, there come on. Chaos being unleashed right now. This is not fair. This is not looking good for the champion. But her 18 years of wrestling experience paying off. Tremendous ring awareness there. Getting to the ropes in a last ditch to keep that title. Jasmine unloading kicks on La Rosa, bringing her to the ropes. It's safe to say she's working on the upper region of La Rosa Negra. I think that if you get La Rosa dizzied and she's not focused, she's not gonna be able to do the moves, that tremendous athletic stuff that she pulls out instinctually. Absolutely. Um, one of the very clear advantages that we've spoken about in this match is that veteran experience. And if she can't breathe, she can't think, how is she supposed to rely and pull on those exact things? Uh -huh. But here we have uh, another bit of distraction by Jasmine Allure, and we already know what the Renegade Twins are doing, creating uh, a little bit of mayhem on the outside and looking tremendously satisfied doing it. This is not fair. I wish that La Rosa had some reinforcements of her own here to level the playing field. Oh, I absolutely agree. You know what? She got fit.
this. She's got forearms. That's going to help even the playing field for her. Oh, she certainly does. If she can make her way back into the ring and perhaps hit a move on Jasmine to get her in position for that Rosa splash, that could be changing the tides here. Uh, just like that drop kick might have. Yeah, I've got all the faith in her. Rosa's definitely a little worse for wear, but the energy of the crowd is electric here tonight, and they are cheering on La Rosa. Oh, could we see some, oh, some, some over the top, or rather some through the second rope action. Wow. Suicide dive, you got to put it all on the line when a championship is up for grabs. La Usadora doesn't want to lose the title, but Jasmine Allure will win at all costs. She'll do anything for the victory. Uh -oh, I, 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 I don't have full view of what's going on on the outside, but seems like we're, uh, we're spilling into the crowd. Ooh, chairs are being picked up. Stomps are being thrown around. And it seems like the crowd might have to get out of the way because these two are straight up brawling on the outside right now. La Usadora on top of a chair, using that leverage and her strength. Eight, nine, ten. How many punches is she going to give her? It looks like ten. Ten is the, the lucky number. <laughs> this brutality that we're seeing is truly just a testament to how significant the Mission Pro Wrestling Championship is. Oh yes, this title has gained a lot of prestige here in Texas and as far as women's wrestling goes, this is a title that has been consistently defended over the past year when, due to the pandemic, other women's promotions could not run regularly. So I've got to say Mission Pro showing out and these two ladies showing out here tonight for Mission Pro Wrestling. Whoever the victor is, we've got to wait and see, but it'll be well deserved. Unless the Renegade Twins get involved. Nice Casadora, Prawn hold. Oh, big kick out from La Rosa Negra. All right, the crowd, the crowd is chanting. They are split between La Rosa and Jasmine Allure, two staples of Mission Pro Wrestling. Jasmine is not gonna give up. She's gonna fight tit for tat with La Rosa. And we know she's not gonna give up either. She's like inviting the fight. Ooh, ooh, she's bucking up. She's throwing slaps in the face. La Rosa is not playing around. But keep in mind, Jasmine Allure. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I would say that Jasmine Allure is definitely regretting defeating Burt Vixen in Genocide for this number one contender's opportunity after those slaps to the face and the chest. Oh my. capitalizing on this. And the look of shock on the face of La Rosa Negra. She's got to compose herself. She's got to stay focused. Because if you go into a mode of despair, you're not going to win here. Let's see what she pulls out of her hat right now. Okay, driving the shoulder into the gut of Jasmine Allure. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I've seen that face many a times before she unloads on her opponent. Oh, Jasmine Allure rolling out of the way! The shoulder of La Rosa, oh my gosh! Could this be it? me, Sam. Jasmine Allure just nearly getting that three count. Two and three quarters. Ref Sherry calling that the match isn't over. Oh my gosh. You can just read on the faces of both these women that they have already gone through so much grueling activity. How can you expect them to just keep going on and like kicking out, pushing through? They're really digging deep. Oh yes, and of course we're going to find an end to this match, but what is, 
What is Robin Renegade oh, doing? Man. Hitting La Rosa Negra with the belt. Ref Sherry distracted by Charlotte on the opposite corner. Her back Ref to the Sherry, ring. You gotta turn around, honey. Jasmine. Jasmine, come on, oh. girl. La Rosa nearly lifeless. Jasmine Allure going for the pin. Oh my God! After beating out three other women for the number one contendership, she can now call herself the Mission Pro Wrestling Champion, beating out a valiant competitor in the form of La Rosa Negra. Wow. Wow. Why don't we find a win at what cost, though? Is that the oh. kind of win she wants? Oh, okay. It doesn't look like we're having a team celebration here. She's like, oh, is she saying I don't need y'all anymore after employing the help? About, about this, Jasmine. Ooh. Renegade's definitely feeling slighted after helping Jasmine secure that victory and being shown such little appreciation. Oh, yeah, they said peace out. We are the tag team champions. They have their own belts, right? They're not going to be disrespected by Jasmine War. Maybe a bit of a breakdown here. Uh, the stable of war. La Rosa Negra. Giant power bomb to Jasmine Allure. She is not happy about the manner in which she lost that title. She's going up for the frog splash. And the crowd is on fire. I know that the ref didn't see that happen uh, before, but La Rosa still wants her title. Of course, she was absolutely cheated out of it. This is a completely understandable reaction. She is irate. I don't think I've ever seen La Rosa this angry. Not in her matches against Masha Slamovich, not in her matches against Maddie Renkowski. Jasmine Allure has brought out a new rage in La Rosa. <laughs> oh, that's that seems like a, a big problem that she's gonna have to deal with in the future. What? But what's this? Is uh oh. I gotta take my headsets off. This is This is some very familiar music. Uh oh! No! Holly! Sam! Sam! Girl! Willow! Sam! Are we seeing this right now? Are you Okay, Holly Dead has come to the ring and she has. She's looking very Ooh. happy. She is, which is not an expression she uh, usually expresses outwardly. She has but handed she, that bury the hatchet. Passion. passion. Oh my God! <laughs> what a treat we are in for. Holly Dead is cashing it in. I okay. I literally have chills right now. It is official. We have two main events in one night. Oh my gosh! Holly dead gone with that face ah! buster tombstone! Goes for the pin! Picked up a win for her earlier today, and it picks up the win again! We have... Two title changes in one night! Holly dead! Ascending to her rightful place! As Mission Pro Wrestling Champion. She certainly worked for it over the last year. The crowd is on fire for her. Do what she's got to do. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Mission Pro Wrestling. Don't fear the Reaper. Check out all of our shows on Title Match. We are the number one rated promotion on Title Match Network, and we will be returning to action right here at the Southern Star Brewery on November 20th for Sea to Shining Sea Guys right here in Conroe, Texas. Thank you so much, Willow, for being my partner tonight. Thank you, Sam. It was an honor. Also, thank you to our general manager, Amanda Rebus, for being on the call. Guys, Sam Laterna here. We're out for the night. Thank you.